In this example, we are going to use the metric beat module for Radis to quickly pull metrics from Radis and visualize them on Kibana. We feed dashboard that will be automatically created. The first step to start the development of this example is to make sure that Radis is open for business. So let's check if Radis is actually available under the port 6379. Once you check this, we need to create some keys on Radis to make sure that we are going to pull metrics that represent some interactions with the Radis database. To create those keys, we're going to use a CLI that comes out of the box with Radis. The first wave of keys are going to be simple keys. And here we've created two simple keys. Let's read them to create some read interactions with Radis. Now let's create more elaborate data structures, starting with sets. Now that the set has been created, let's read the set. Let's now create a list on Radis. Since the list has been created, let's try to read all the elements from this list. Now let's create a more complicated entity that has multiple fields. In this example, we've just created an entity called user that has three attributes. We can read all these attributes using the command hgetAll. We've now created some interactions with the Radis database. Now, let's move to the metric beat configuration and start structing metric beat to collect metrics from Radis. In metric beat, your first step needs to be enabling the Radis module. You can easily do this by executing metric beat along with the option modules and then providing the sub-option Enable and the name of the module you want to enable. With the Radis module enabled, we can start the configuration of the metric sets. Go to the folder modules.d and Look for the file that represents the Radis module. It's going to be called radis.yaml. In this file, you're going to see that some of the metric sets will be commented out. Go ahead and uncomment the metric sets info and key space. Those are going to be the first metric sets that we are going to explore using Kibana. You might want to also check if the host's property points to the exact location where your Redis database is available. With your metric sets configured properly, we can start deploying the Kibana dashboards that will be used for data exploration. You can do this by running the setup command with your metric beat executable. Keep in mind though, that the setup command can take up to a minute to complete. Once the setup command finishes, 
you can start your metric beat. With metric beat up and running, let's go to Kibana to see if the metrics are available. In Kibana, go to the analytics section and click on the option dashboard. You're going to see that there will be a lot of dashboards created that you can use and play with. Go to the search bar and search for Radis. And click on the dashboard called Overview ECS. This dashboard presents you with a summary of the main key interactions that users had with your Radis database, along with some information regarding Radis. This dashboard provides a high-level overview about Radis, but doesn't include much information regarding the keys specifically, as well as any of the interactions that we've executed against the database. Let's now configure metric B to pull metrics that are specific to keys. Stop metric B if it is currently being executed. Then go back to your Redis module configuration file. To configure metric B to pull information regarding keys, you need to include a metric set called key in the list of metric sets. Along with this option, you have to specify what range of keys you are interested to see on the Kibana dashboards. You can filter which keys are going to be pulled from by using the option key.patterns. This option expects you to specify a pattern that will be used to discover keys. We can use a star to specify that all the keys are going to be discovered. Also, you can optionally specify a suboption called limit to, as the name implies, limit the amount of keys that will be discovered if the pattern that you've specified contains multiple keys. Now that metric beat has been configured to pull metrics regarding keys, let's start metric beat one more time. And go back to Kibana to check if these information regarding keys are being pulled from. You can check information regarding keys using a different dashboard. Instead of using the Overview ECS dashboard, go back to the dashboard options and, once again, search for all the dashboard related to Radis. But this time, pick this dashboard called Keys ECS. This dashboard focuses specifically on the keys that are being used on Radis as well as all the interactions that has been executed against them. Information regarding keys type, the length of some lists, the average time to live information, and the average size of string keys. You can optionally filter what are going to be the key spaces that you are going to visualize here on the dashboard. There is only so much that you can see using a single dashboard. That's why you are not going to be able to leverage all the metrics that are being pulled from Radis using the dashboards that are automatically created by the Radis module. But this doesn't mean that you are not leveraging the full potential of metric beat. If you go to the Discover option on Kibana, you can further explore the additional information that is being pulled from Radis, 
information regarding not only the database itself, but the keys, its interactions, and some very important information regarding hardware consumption. You can see this information by creating a filter on Kibana and using the field metricset.name and check whether this field equals to a metric set call info. Once the filter applies to your search, pick one of the documents being shown and click on View Single Document so you can explore the details that are being collected from Redis. If you scroll down into the document, you're going to see that all the metrics collected from Redis are prefixed by this string called Redis.info. And then you're going to be able to see the amount of information that is not being necessarily shown on the dashboard that has been automatically created by the Redis module. But you can further use to create your own visualization and add them to the existing or new dashboard. There's information regarding CPU utilization, memory, and the persistency capabilities of Redis, as well as the replication protocol that comes with Redis, along with information regarding the server itself. Very often, you are going to leverage the information regarding some statistics that are being periodically collected by Redis, such as information about the frequency of how many keys are being missed and this information can be used for to tell your development team to optimize their applications.